Hi Capricorn, welcome to your October How They Feel next move and love messages, love tower reading. So Capricorn, I'm looking at uh, your person at this time, how they're feeling about you, what their next moves may be, what messages do they have for you, along with love messages. No matter your circumstance or situation or whatever's going on, we're just looking at the energy of them and how they're feeling, next move and messages. Okay, Capricorn, we have the true love reading cards here. I think those two wanted to pop out here. So I'm going to get you some opening messages with this deck, and then I'm going to jump into your reading. So welcome in, Capricorn. I hope you're all doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. If you are new or returning, uh, welcome in, welcome in, and thank you. My name is Mary, and this is Sunlight Inside Tarot. All right, Capricorn, so we're going to pull these out, see what's going on, and then jump into your reading. Let's see, we have compatibility, spiritual maturity, Emotional freedom and boundaries. So it looks like here somebody set some boundaries here until somebody matured. Um, so somebody here could have been uh, more emotionally dependent on somebody, and somebody just felt like, you know, until you mature, you know, I have to take my freedom back. Uh, we do have comp, comp uh, if I could speak compatibility here so there could be a chance here of you know coming back together in a more stable way uh, but we'll see I mean you definitely could have felt a very compatible energy towards this person but you know there's something about their energy where you just needed to kind of free yourself from that and set, set some healthy boundaries looks like somebody here has a tall mountain to climb um, so let's see what's going to happen here all right Capricorn. Let's see what's going on. So we have the Celestial Tarot here to do a reading with this deck. And at the end, I will also close out with some Mystic Moon Oracles signs from Spirit Love Oracle. All right. So let's see right now. Capricorn, October, how they feel. Let's move in. Love messages, love tarot reading. So let's see how they're feeling about you right now. Let's see how they're feeling about Capricorn right now. Let's see. The Four of Wands reversed. The Nine of Pentacles reversed. The Chariot reversed. High Priestess reversed. We do have the Knight of Cups here. And the Eight of Pentacles. Right away, what I felt here, the Four of Wands reverse, nine, nine of Pentacles reverse, the Chariot reverse. There is a stuck energy here, but I think there was a lot of honesty. We do have the High Priestess in reverse. Um, but there's something with this person where they're not stable or grounded enough right now to be fully committed into a relationship. And I think it's their own maturity, emotional maturity, spiritual maturity that needs to happen here. But I do see this Knight of Cups as being, you know, love, emotions, and feelings, and they do want this, and they do want this relationship to move forward with you, but they know that they have a lot of work to do. I, I feel it's on themselves before this moves forward, but they definitely have a lot of love to give you, and they do want to um, give you that love <laughs> and move this love forward, so... Let's see, we have uh, Cancer, High Priestess is Pisces. So we have Scorpio, uh, Cancer, and Pisces. So some definitely could be dealing with a water sign. But I do feel like this High Priestess reverse, that is about all knowing, seeing, um, not leaving anything uncovered. So I do feel like there's been a lot of truth and transparency in this um, situation, which is actually probably a good thing. All right, Capricorn. So let's see what else do we need to know about how they feel towards you. So Capricorn, please. What do we need to know? How do they feel towards Capricorn? Let's see. How do they feel towards Capricorn? Let's see. The moon. Okay. Eight of cups. Seven of Swords, Nine of Wands. Yeah, 
I'm getting a lot of that here. Queen of Swords reversed. Ten of Wands. Wow. So I'm not feeling like this is about you or the connection. I think they have a lot of things they need, they know they need to work through. <clears throat> I mean, it could be anything. It could be addictions, obsessions. It could be past trauma. It could be a bad childhood. It could be many things. But there's, you know, moon, a lot of fear, fear of the path ahead. So they may be actually fearing the path ahead about having to do this work, but they know it's something they have to do. Eight of Cups, definitely they could be keeping themselves at a distance. But Seven of Swords Reverse is actually good because I don't see like any, I don't feel like any of this energy is intentional towards you um, or the connection. The Seven of Swords Reverse, which actually, actually is a good thing. Nine of Wands in the Ten of Wands, that is a lot of struggles and oppression and burdens. So they may actually keep their distance, Queen of Swords reversed, until they start out whatever's going on for them. But they definitely do want to work whatever's going on. They want to work that out so that they can move forward with you. And um, I mean, they could have even put this boundary up and said, you know, I have this tall mountain to climb and I'm kind of going to set this boundary here until, you know, and you could have been on the same page about this with the compa compatibility. You definitely could have been on the same page about it. So this person definitely could be going through some emotional trauma they need to free themselves from. So it could be that as well. It could be many, could, this go, could go around it many different ways. So you're going to have to take it out. It resonates for you. But that's what I see here. So we do have uh, Libra. We are in Libra season right now. And Pisces. All right, Capricorn. So let's see what their next moves may be. Let's see what their next moves may be. Let's see what their next moves may be towards Capricorn, please. Let's see. Ace of Wands reversed. Justice. Yeah, they're doing the right thing right now, which is actually a good thing. Page of Pentacles. So that is coming in with an offer, solid offer. Knight of Wands being strong, courageous, and brave. Going after what they want. Empress reversed. And the hermits, yeah. <clears throat> now it could be here that they, in that you're not liking the separation either, the whole situation. Um, maybe neither one of you are, but maybe knowing it's for the best. Um, but I definitely do do see seclusion here with the hermit going within a solo journey. Empress in reverse. Uh, I mean, they could be a feminine. I mean, males can be feminine, females can be masculine. However, it resonates. Ace of uh, Wands in reverse. So yeah, this person, Justice is all about doing the right thing. Balance. It is a soul contract here, so they do feel I got to do the right thing uh, before I come in with this off, uh, offer, which could be commitment, it could be engagement, it could be anything here. I'm not quite ready for this exciting new beginning, but I am definitely, most definitely doing the work to be ready to come in with this offer, to be strong, courageous, and brave as I should be, to be of, um, to be your equal, and they may not be feeling that right now. I kind of feel that with the Empress reversed. So this is definitely a solo journey for them. But once they complete this solo journey, there's that offer right there with the Page of Pentacles. And again, this could be coming in during Libra season. We've got Libra again. Capricorn, this is you. Uh, Sag, Libra, Taurus, Virgo. All right, Capricorn, let's see more about their next move. Capricorn, please. Their next move towards Capricorn, please. What do we need to know? Next move towards Capricorn. Let's see. What else do we need to know? Let's see. Death. Eight of Wands. This is going to be like the, the death of the old, their old self. Emperor, oh my gosh, yeah. The Wheel of Fortune. Six of Pentacles. They're going through a big transformation right now. In the Ten of Pentacles, okay. Transformation, balance, stepping into their power, into their energy, their divine energy, whether they're Emperor, Empress, Masculine, Feminine. 
Positive movement forward here. Growth, luck, expansion, divine timing, things meant to be. Balance, reciprocation to the Ten of Pentacles, commitment, long-term energy. Eight of Wands taking action. Death. So once that transformation, the full transformation happens with this person, action coming in fast as an emperor or whatever that means, emperor, empress, whatever. It's meant to be fate, destiny, moving forward, well-rounded and balanced to full-blown, long-term committed kind of energy here. Wow. All right. So I'm like, I'm surprised I didn't see the death card. There it is. So we have death, uh, which is Scorpio, Aries, Sag, Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio. So we are in October right now. We have a 10 right here. So this definitely could be happening by the end of the month. Then we go into Scorpio season. And the Scorpio uh, does happen, what, mid-month? So definitely could be something by the end of the month here for some. And also the wheel is 10. All right. Okay. So we're going to see what messages they have with you for you along with clarifiers. And then we'll get into the love oracles. All right. All right, Capricorn, if it does resonate or you are enjoying this so far, please do like, comment, all the good things would be greatly, greatly appreciated. All right. What do they have to say to you, Capricorn? What do they want to tell you at this time? What do you need to know? Capricorn, please. Let's see. Three of Pentacles. Yeah, I'm working on myself right now. I'm going through a lot of growth. Five of Wands reverse. I'm getting over conflict, inner conflict, challenges. I'm becoming strong, dependent, loyal, trustworthy. I'm ready to be committed to you. Grounded. That's good. Two of Cups. I'm ready for this connection, this relationship to move forward. Seven of Pentacles. I know it feels like a long time coming. There's a lot of self-investment here. There's been a lot invested between us as well. And I'm ready for my return. I am returning. So they are definitely returning here. So let's see. We have Virgo showing up again. Let's see what else is on the top here. Judgment. Yeah. So life review, relationship review, he healing, forgiving, releasing what needs to be released to make way for new. A call to action, universal call to action. So contracts, past lives, big decisions, wake up call. Four of Pentacles, so they're becoming more stable. Foundation. Two of Pentacles is a lot going on right now with them that they're uh, working through. But here's this uh, balance, patience, healing, soul contracts, divine alchemy, bringing soulmates together. Six of Swords, moving into the light, out of the dark. They do have a lot of love and emotions and feelings here with the King of Cups as well. Three of Cups, they can't wait to reunite, come back together. All right, so what else do we have here? Seven of Wands. Yeah, there's the boundary. But there's still love here. There is a lot of love. They're ready for new beginning, truth, clarity, communication, clearing up the energy. They're definitely on the... Uh, doing that hierophant reverse so yeah can't commit right now but i definitely see it in the future four of swords because in the period of healing right now clearing away the confusion whatever's going on for them five swords getting over the challenge the conflict successfully six of one so that's really good energy there all right so let's see here capricorn let's get you some mystic moon cards see what else you need to know also everything you do need to know is down below capricorn my uh, website's down there and everything you need is there as well as in the description box that you can check out if you want to all right capricorn so let's see what else you need to know <clears throat> let's see snake forbidden hmm okay let's see orange enthusiasm excitement and warmth yeah it could be that gives me like halloween vibes definitely you know and it does say snake forbidden but snake can be you know a lot of 
negative energy. This person's like shedding their skin. 777, rapid soul development that comes from challenging times. Exactly. Seashell protection. Yeah, they're protecting themselves. You, they definitely are working through a challenging time. They're excited for the future. They're shedding their skin. Table gathering. So you are going to reconnect. 1111, spiritual awakening. You are on the right path. And eggs incubation. Yeah, so this is just a time of um, growth for them, you know. But they're just about to bust out here. I think it's just about time for them to come back because I think they're definitely shedding old skin here, Capricorn. All right, Capricorn, that's what I have for you. So I do hope that helped that resonated. Again, everything you need to know is down below. I am wishing you the best, and I do hope to see you next time.